Okay, I know it's been over two years since I uploaded a video, so I don't know how long I'll actually be doing this because I'm officially the internet's laziest YouTuber. But I will try, and if I get enough feedback, that would definitely motivate me. So I'll be listing these in alphabetical order, and one of these will be deemed my track of the week. And I'm very lazy because these are the songs from the first week of January. Uh, if I mispronounce something, I apologize. I don't really have any reference point for this kind of stuff. Links to the songs will be in the description. Always listen to the song first and the music video second. Uh, let's get it started. I have 24 tracks for you this week. Each of them will get a really quick rundown, starting with... Can't Leave It Alone by Aaron Fraser, off his debut album, Introducing. I really like the groove of this thing, and those keys, nice and soulful. Suffer and Swallow by Alice Glass. Just look at that cover. You know naturally I would like this. Nice and dark witch house song from the former member of Crystal Castles. And check out the music video too, it's a stop motion video which is seemingly inspired by Jans Fonkmeyer, particularly his 1988 adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. Words by the last surviving member of the Bee Gees, Barry Gibb, and country legend Dolly Parton. They're both 74 years old. That's pretty old. Just a nice heartfelt duet cover of the Bee Gees original, and Dolly really adds to this one. Little Bit Lighter, the Pola and Bryson remix by BC, Charlotte Haining, and Etherwood. It's categorized as liquid funk. It's an offshoot of drum and bass. I really like the vibe, and I prefer this one to the original. This is a Russian pop artist named Dora. The song is called Not A Game. I don't speak Russian, but I feel this song so much. I could probably listen to this on loop all day. It's that addicting. It's two and a half minutes, and that's just enough for it to be the perfect earworm. You won't be able to find this just by typing it in, so you will have to check the description for this video for the link. Do It by Egovert and Smoke Perp. I feel like I normally wouldn't like something like this, but it's kind of like a cross between XXX Tentacion and Blueface. But I just, I just love the energy and the silliness of this thing. It's a trap song, and it's right under two minutes. Another one that's very addicting. This is a song by Arebe. It's called Green Transmission One Third. Or maybe it's one out of three. Maybe there's two more of these coming. I'm not really sure. It's an ambient track, a really dark instrumental. I could see something like this being in a movie. Great stuff, and you can find this one on Bandcamp. Keep Killin' by G Perico and Rucci. Some West Coast hip hop. Really nice and upbeat, a lot of fun, only two minutes. It's short but sweet, kind of an old school sound, and the beginning kind of reminds me of something you would hear in a jingle for a commercial. The Bandit by Kings of Leon. The lyrics create a nice atmosphere on this one. Lifts by Leah Marie Johnson. I love the artwork, first of all. Leah is an actress, and she's gained fame as a YouTuber being on the React series. Kids React, Teens React, and YouTubers React. This is a beautiful song. If there's any song on this list that's a must listen, it's this one. Track of the week. And I really, sincerely wish her the best. At the Door by Marlon Kraft. Probably the best hip-hop song of the week, and probably the most slept-on rapper right now. This is a guy who is just waiting to blow up. This one took me a few listens to really appreciate it, and it's only two and a half minutes. He has a really unique and at times unpredictable rhyme scheme. This guy is special. Also, check out his appearances on Sway in the Morning and Funk Flex. Just listen to this guy and I think you'll be hooked. Back on Earth by The Morning Line. Great power pop song. Vocalist kind of gives me Afghan Wigs vibes. This one you can find on Bandcamp. Bewitched Reimagined by The Most Vivid Nightmares, featuring Sammy Bear. I'm guessing they got inspiration from the TV series Bewitched. It's an alternative dream pop sound. I love the overall feel and the lyrics of this. Kind of gives me cigarettes after sex vibes. Astra Instrumental by Noon. It's fairly short. It's labeled as instrumental hip hop, electronic, and glitch hop. Enough said. Check it out. And I love that minimalist artwork. Gray, Light Gray, by Rotorsand and Evendorf. There's also Dark Gray and the Rotorsand rework, but this is the version I'm going with. It's labeled as Future Pop. Maybe a little electronic, techno, and industrial as well. Kind of reminds me of Depeche Mode. I dig the lyrics and that type of sound. 
Rot Away by Saint Carell. Psychedelic. Love the guitar sound and the drums in this one. And the vocals are low enough to blend in with it smoothly. And there's a nice harmonica finish. Nigel Hitter by Shame. Some pretty stellar post-punk. Parts of it remind me of Talking Heads. And I love that main guitar riff. True by SYML. Stunning artwork. It's a good alternative R&B pop song to vibe to. Rainy Day Dream Away by Tarem, a nice jazzy hip-hop instrumental. The title describes it perfectly. The Death Nest of the Black Crow by 13 Days. You can find this one on Bandcamp. They're a Chinese black metal band. They only have a few singles released so far. Ear-piercing screams that just sound like a cry for help. And that's the vibe of the song. It's pretty killer and moody. Boys and Girls by Viagra Boys. Dance punk. It's groovy. The Hurt Business by Westside Gun, Smoke Dizza, and Wale. The Hurt Business is a current faction in the WWE. For those of you who don't watch wrestling, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But this is a hip-hop song with a nice beat that brings it all together. Good flows and ad-libs and style from everyone. Wale steals the show, and of course there's going to be some wrestling references. Puppet Show by Witch on Film featuring Lucy Loon. Labeled as dream pop and alternative R&B. I love this, especially the lyrics, just the whole vibe. And check out the music video. It's kind of low budget and homemade, but I really like the aesthetic of it. The blues and the purples. If you can't tell already, I love that combination of colors. And witches. A Sea of Stars by Wolf Club, featuring Dora Perilly. I love the artwork, the whole retro synth pop vibe. And the saxophone towards the end is really nice. And that sums it up for this week's weekly track recommendations. Check the songs out, like the video because it helps the algorithm, and subscribe to my channel for more rad recommendations.